Good afternoon. This is your read aloud for dog business. Max had always dreamed of starting his own dog walking business. Now that he was in third grade, his parents thought he was old enough to try out his idea. Max and his parents talked to the Smiths, their neighbors. The Smiths had a new yellow puppy named Roxy. They were happy to let Max walk her, but they warned him that the puppy had a lot of energy. During school on Monday, Max could think only about one thing, his new business. Max even drew a map of where he could take Roxy on their walk. After school, Max went to the Smiths to pick up Roxy and take her for their stroll. Max was surprised when he saw how big Roxy was. Roxy jumped up, put her paws on Max's shoulders, and gave him a big, wet kiss on his cheek. Max was a little nervous, but he thought to himself, I can do this. See? She likes me. Max took out his map and showed it to the Smiths. First, he would walk to the park, then around the soccer field, and finally come back home. The Smiths thought this was a great idea. Mr. Smith put Roxy on a leash for Max. Then Max was on his own, walking the big, excited puppy. Bye, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. We will be back soon. Don't worry about us. We will have a great time, said Max. Mr. and Mrs. Smith smiled and waved as Max and Roxy walked down the block. Wow, thought Max. This is more fun than I imagined. I really like dogs. As they were nearing the park, Max saw that there were large puddles with dark mud in the grass. Keeping the puppy close by his side, he tried to stay away from the puddles. But Roxy had a different idea. Suddenly, Roxy darted off barking and chasing a squirrel. Max tried to hold on, but he slipped in the mud. The puppy stopped as soon as she saw the squirrel race up a tree, but it was too late. Max was covered with mud, and Roxy looked like a huge yellow cupcake covered with chocolate frosting. Oh no, thought Max. The Smiths will never want me to take their puppy for a walk again. My parents will be angry too. I better go home and deal with this mess. Just then, Max thought of a great idea for his next business, a dog washing business. He would start today. Roxy would be his first customer.